Hello everyone, welcome to BISPSolutions.com. My name is Sumit and I am VP Sales of CRM Solutions with BISP. In this video, I am going to demonstrate you how can we perform data transformation in WAVE. So, we have already gone through the data transformation by using customizing JSON. Now, this is a new update which has been recently released by WAVE 2017 that now we can perform data transformations like argument, data argument, data filtering, data compute expressions, edge mart, SFDC digest and all type of transformations which are available in WAVE can be done without customizing JSON. It's like a, sim it's, it's like a piece of cake like simply dragging and dropping and uh, adding fields into it and the transformation will be done in a very easy and efficient way. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate you same that how are we going to perform a couple of transformations like compute expressions, filtering and so on by using the new update in 2017 in wave. So let's begin. So for this, I'm using opportunity data set, which as I have been loaded from Salesforce directly from Salesforce. And we have got an opportunity data set and now I would like to apply a filter and compute expression on top of that. So right now you see we don't have any opportunity data set. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new data set by getting data directly from Salesforce. I'm looking for opportunity data. So I select opportunity object. And let's add the fields like amount, close date, country, expected amount, fiscal year, name of opportunity, opportunity type, probability, stage. So I have added around nine fields. Now if you look at the JSON, so that's the JSON code for it. So we can save this JSON. So before saving this JSON, because this JSON does not contain any alias and name so we need to save it so i create a data set to give name as opportunity and create it create yes and now we need to data flow view so either we can start it or you know that we have an option for scheduling as well. So this is I'm doing it first time or I'm doing it only once. So I, I simply click on start. So the process will start. We can see the process. Once the process is completed, we would be able to see the successful message. And the new data set has been created. So a new data has been created successfully. So let's go and figure it out. Close it. Browse data set and we have a new data set named as opportunity so we can do visualization on top of that we can add measures i can say sum of amount and i can further group by uh, stage so my requirement is i would like to before loading this data into wave analytics i would like to apply a filter that it will load only closed one opportunity or if we say count of rows so there it, it should load only closed one opportunities so basically i would like to filter the record filter that uh, filter the opportunity data set and create a separate data set out of it and share it with a user specific group of people or to other users so let's have a look how can we do that so for this first of all we need to switch to data manager so previously we we were doing this by using customizing json to know more about data transformation how to customize how to perform data transformation by using json you can go through my previous video you can get the link in the option below so i click on data manager switch to data flow view just for safety purpose uh, i simply download the json the current json for it and uh, that's the current json for opportunity so i'll just save it and show in a folder and i copy and paste it on my desktop so that if we have to use it we can use it again now 
I click on edit. Now, by default, if you look at here, we have two nodes, 101 and 102. 101, it comprises of all the fields along with the output. These are the output fields. And in 102, it holds the output fields along with the name of the data set. So in between, I would like to add a filter. So first of all, my the first requirement is create a separate data set containing records whose state is closed one. So basically we would like to apply a filter. It is something like we can consider or we can relate data transformation. We can relate filters as a view in SQL data sets in our data in relational data sets. So we have a lot of we have the transformation. These are the various transformation. We have SFDC digest, digest, edge mart, append, augment, compute expression, compute relative, flatten, filter, a slice digest, update and SFDC register. So I'm looking for a filter. So I select filter, click on filter expression. First of all, to assign a name to that filter. So I assign a name as filter expression. Click on continue. Now here, the source. So the I want to apply filter on 101. So I select 101. And the filter, I apply the filter, let's say stage name EQ closed one. So that's the syntax for applying filter. Save it. And you can see the filter expression has been added. And now we link this filter expression with SFDC digest. So now this is in between. And what I'm doing, I'm just changing the name of this as filter opportunity and filter opportunity. And we can see output fields, stage name with filter expression. Save it. Let's go and check the JSON file. So that's the JSON 101. Then we have a filter node in between. So that's the source is 101. We applied a filter stage name EQ closed one action is filter and parameters. And this the node is filter expression. So the source is filter expression and the name of new node will be filter opportunity. So that's fine. It's OK. I just close it. And now we are going to update it. So if we want, we can download the JSON and share it with the users or we can upload a new JSON or existing one. So I click on update data flow. You will give a message. It will give a message that saving this data flow will override your saved data flow. That's why I saved the previous one so that if we have to roll back to the previous, uh, if we have to roll back to the previous flow, we would be able to get it. So I click on continue. And uh, we'll get back to data manager. And once again, we refresh it. We refresh this. We can verify whether it is updated or not. So I click on download here. And uh, you can see a new. Yeah, you can see a new node we have added as a filter one. So let's update it now. And uh, I'll start this process. So now you can see the process has been completed successfully. Now let's go and check. So I click on, I just close it, browse all, data set, and we will have a new opportunity named as opportunity one. So I just click on this opportunity one and uh, let's figure it out. So the filtered records we have, right. 
so you see now we'll be getting opportunity one and there are 385 records and if i want to further filter it by stage we'll be getting only one stage that is closed one that is because we have applied a filter so that's how we can apply a filter by using data transformation now in continuation of that uh, if i switch to tables view in tables view we'll be getting these all are the records whose stage is closed one but we have a field called amount so i would like to calculate i would like to perform computer expression on this amount field and i want to have a derived column derived field named the text calculation based on this column so for this let's quickly switch to data manager let's see how to achieve it so i switch to data manager then click on data flow view and here click on edit so we'll have a filter expression in sfdc digest sfdc register now i want to have one computer expression on this filter expression so we'll have one computer expression so i click on computer expression and this would be let's say text calculation continue and the source would be filter expression i want to apply a filter on means what let's say the source is 101 and yes i want to merge it with source and the computed fields so i click on add fields it would be number type it would be numeric type and the expression would be uh, the field name is amount we have so if you switch to opportunity one in opportunity one i'll switch to value table because uh, i want to get the names so it is amount so it is i just mentioned here amount i want to calculate 10 percent so amount multiplied 10 divided by 100 precision is 2 scale is 2 default value is 0 and uh, let's say precision is 5 or uh, i think 2 is 0 2 is sufficient scale is 8 scale is 5 default value 0 and save it save it and we would like to add this text calculation and it would be merged with 101 so we can have a look so again this is a json then we have filter expression and there is a text calculation on so it would be merged with source it would be merged with source but it should go along with the data set so what i would be doing uh, i would be applying it on filter transformation and then we will add it so i'll just customize it and the source i just put it on filter transformation filter expression save it and this would be linked with uh, this will be linked with one zero so this is so the flow is like this so i have done some changes here i remove that filter expression and then this i changed as computed opportunity it should be computed opportunity this also computed opportunity and output fields we have these are the output fields along with text so save it and update data flow so as you can see here when i'm trying to update this data flow i'm getting an error message and the error message is that the scale must be less than the precision so we need to figure it out we need to solve this so i just edit this that's the field and the scale i set as uh, one and save it and update the flow so it is updated successfully let's go to data manager and start the process so before that let's refresh it once again and then we'll start the process so that we can work it and then it will so that it will work properly and we'll get the update so i'll just click on start the process gets started we can validate it so you can see the process has been successfully completed we got a successful message let's go back to analytics browse all data set and the data set we have is computed opportunity so i click on computed opportunity and uh, i'll display as a value tables 
and in value tables we have a field called text and this is a 10 percent if you look at this text the amount is six uh, let's say refresh the amount is eight five double seven two nine five and the ten percent is eight five double seven three zero so that's how we calculated the that's how we created a derived column by using the new feature of data flow the data transformation there are a couple of other features which we can use as we used to have we have done by using json so instead of customizing the code we can do it we can uh, transform it simply by dragging and dropping and adding nodes between the source and the destination node so that's all in this video if you have any queries you can write to us on www.bispsolutions.com we are not only providing trainings on Salesforce will be giving job support as well as consulting C services on Salesforce as well. So you can visit our website to know more about the consultant services we are offering to our clients.